Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we are going to explore now the package which is available in PubData. And the package is going to be draggable, extendable, fab. And as the name suggests, this is going to be a floating action button. And I have made use of the package and have implemented a sample demo app over here. And basically, it is going to be appearing like a floating action button, which we usually have in Flutter. And the only speciality is that it is going to be, as the name suggests, it is going to be a draggable one. You can drag the floating action button anywhere in the screen you want and it is going to be just like the stack widget what we have in flutter that is it is going to be placed at the top of uh, other flutter widgets okay so it is going to be a kind of overlay one and you can place it anywhere in the screen you want and upon clicking this fab button it will in turn will have four kinds of children's which i have configured right over here so totally we have provided four kinds of floating action buttons and which appears upon clicking this uh, parent widget okay and you can have any number of widgets you want and for now i have placed four widgets inside this floating action button and and each floating action button correspond to individual screens in flutter okay and upon clicking them it will navigate the user to the corresponding page so this is all about the package which provides with this kinds of cool stuff and i just came across this package and thought it would be worth sharing with you all therefore without wasting time let's directly jump into the coding part and see how we can implement this package in a flutter app to get started we need to move over to our spec and add the package which is draggable extendable fab and always check for the latest version and after adding this package let's move over to the main data file and here in the main data file we have made use of generated routes and value initial route points to my home page here in the main home page we have a stateful widget class that is going to have an app bar a basic app bar as well as an empty body which is going to carry a container okay and below which we have a list of configurations which we have provided to make this floating action button look the way we want to have in our app okay and let me just walk you with the basics of creating this floating action button from scratch now after the body we need to have the widget which is the extendable draggable fab and this is going to have a list of required parameters and they are the children's that is obviously the kinds of widget which we need to show upon clicking that particular fab okay and the children is going to accept the list of floating action buttons in turn apart from children's we need to again specify the count of the children so basically how many flutter widgets which is going to be placed inside this children widget and another required parameter is going to be the distance so this distance is nothing but it's the children's animation distance between the open and close so it is going to be a required parameter and this is going to be a double value and give any double value so i have made it as 10 which is going to be look um, somewhat uh, decent and inside the children we are going to provide uh, the first child as the floating action button and it is going to take an on press event which will navigate the user to the page which is the add screen and apart from on press we can provide the child which is going to be the which is going to take the icons as the child over here okay now let's save this and upon clicking this we now get one floating action button over there and upon clicking which will take us to the add screen now we can just repeat this following step to have uh, four kinds of different uh, floating actions buttons over here therefore let's change this count to four and uh, similarly add four different floating action buttons over here inside these children okay and each corresponds to individual screens okay and each is provided with unique icons okay so let's refresh this app now we get four different icons over here for this uh, floating action button so i don't want this background color for this icons therefore let's remove that for that you can provide make use of children box decoration and provide the color as transparent and now let's save this yeah it's gone now let's think of bringing this children down to the center therefore it would be easy to visualize so let's add few parameters over here and say this extendable draggable fab and the parameters would be the children type as well as the children alignment now let me save this and we get the children at the center so this alignment can be either left right bottom bottom left bottom right it can be anything of your choice it's totally customizable and if you want this children to appear in the row you can provide it as row children 
or else if you want that to appear as the column you can make use of the column children if you do so you get this aligned in the vertical manner okay but i am okay with the row wise therefore let's give that and uh, finally we have few spacing issues over here so the spacing on the left is somewhat smaller than the spacing on the right therefore let's make use of the location parameter and provide the location of the floating action buttons now it's going to be equal on the both left and right side okay so there are plenty of other, um, parameters you can use to customize this floating action button so you can configure the animations you can configure the box decoration alignment and plenty of other stuffs so you can play around with these parameters to get the desired kind of style you want for this floating action button okay well that's it guys that's all about how to implement this draggable extendable fab icon in your flutter app and make your app more intuitive for the users okay hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye